Hello, hi. Today I want to talk to you about intellectual property and why is it that you may want to choose this as an option paper for your law degree program. What is IP? What is intellectual property all about? And I want to do this video a bit differently. I want to just pause a while and invite you to look around you. Take three seconds and see whether can you identify any item for which could be coming under intellectual property protection. Right, three seconds. And I'm pretty certain by now you might have found one or more items. Uh, wherever you are, this could be perhaps now um, your television, uh, your laptop perhaps, uh, for which now there will be technology involved and the issue of patent. Um, for me, in my case, uh, I just grabbed the nearest item near to me now. And uh, this would be my handphone. And so even this handphone itself, there are several items for which they come under IP protection. For instance, uh, this would be the logo, right? What about the camera lenses or the technology behind it? What about the design for the handphone itself? And all this comes under IP law, right? Your patent, uh, this could be your design right. This could be your trademark. Among other things that we study in an IP subject. Now granted, the design for a handphone, I suppose, most likely will not come under any particular IP protection because most handphone designs are pretty similar. So unlikely that the design right might be successful. But suppose now that your design is something very interesting or unique or special. Uh, take right now, right? You are looking at me and the design of my spectacles. And I think even these pair of spectacles are pretty common in design. But what if now this is perhaps a star-shaped triangular frame? And it's something that's very novel or interesting or outlandish. The color maybe even that's very bright. And so, right, so that anyone who sees that pair of spectacles will say, oh, that is this brand XYZ because it is in such a design, because it's in such a color. And guess what? All these I'm explaining now fall within the discussion of our subject of intellectual property. Whilst many people think that IP is a subject that involves inventors, perhaps, uh, those who are scientists. Uh, for example, now the COVID-19 uh, vaccination or the drug, for which now there will be obviously IP issues that will arise. But I want you to know that IP is really a subject that I would say is for the masses. That's right, you heard me right. Intellectual property is a law subject for the masses. For example, if you were to write a business plan for your company, a business proposal, isn't that something that comes under copyright? Uh, in advertising, maybe, you may come up with a slogan, um, a jingle, a music piece, perhaps, on social media. You do a TikTok video, right? Uh, today, it's quite a hot thing now, uh, videos on TikTok. Uh, these are all protectable under intellectual property. So IP is a great subject. I really hope that uh, you would embark on that subject if you're in the final year of a law degree program. And if not, just enroll with us, right, as a one-off subject. And I can assure you that you'll find a subject really interesting as you look at how the laws protect the creativity, the endeavors of our human brain in protecting intellectual property. So have a good day. Bye-bye.